Hey guys, it's Lego Maestro here, and welcome back to another episode of Hypixel Alerts. Now, this week on the Hypixel Network, there was so much news that this once again is going to be part one of a part two Hypixel Alert special. And before we get into this, I have a quick announcement to make, and that is that you can probably tell next to the subscribe button, there is now a blue join button where you can actually have a membership. And with this membership, you'll be able to play twice with me in a group Discord call on Hypixel. It's going to be pretty fun stuff. Let me know, you guys what you think of it in the comments below. I'm going to be working on that. Let me know if memberships is something you are interested in. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, of course, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date on everything happening in the Hypixel network, then you'll want to subscribe to the Hypixel Alert channel because I'll be your host, Lego Maestro, keeping you guys informed on what's going on. So you guys, to start off the news this week... We've got one huge story. Now, this all started a couple of weeks ago around the time that I was covering the whole Skyblock on ads thing. And well, I decided to tweet out about this asking, are we allowed to report these Skyblock ads? I don't know if it's something YouTube would consider as against their policies. Any help would be much appreciated. And well, this week, Simon responded saying clean their accounts and banned slash wiped their most, if not all, customers as well. We are going hard on this and will be doing legal procedures in the following days. A new terms of service will be posted and everyone caught IRL trading will be in serious trouble. Enough is enough. We will also be implementing severe restrictions to new accounts later on to prevent most scamming and other crap going on. I mean, you guys can see from his tweets, Simon, he's not messing around. And in fact, I think this was the start of a ban initiative on Simon and the Hypixel staff's part because you guys, a couple days later... Everything went crazy. A huge bandwave took over the Hypixel network, banning over 6,000 players, including one of the most popular Hypixel guilds, OFN, also known as Offensive. In fact, this guild was number five on the overall leaderboards for the guilds themselves and dropped down to number 11 on the guild leaderboards before some of their members started getting banned. Now, there was a lot of speculation, like did 80% of their guild get banned? Did they all get banned? And I actually was able to talk to the owner of this guild and it turns out that less than a fourth of their guild actually did get punished for this and uh, there's more to it. One of the owners said that it was mostly the admins and owners and officers of the guild who got banned and it was all linked due to IP sharing. So let's say an admin shares his account with the owner and that owner shares his account with an officer. If the admin gets banned, then the owner's gonna get banned and the officer. So that one ban could affect all three people and so that's how they all got banned. And as for how long each punishment is, they ran from 30 days like a month up to an entire year and in fact some did get banned for that long so this had a lot of people talking about it not just with the guild but overall the entire Hypixel band wave I mean as you can imagine 6,000 players that are not b-hoppers that had people talking and because of this Omicron actually made a video on the situation which only brought even more attention to it in fact an ex staff member even accused the Hypixel network of automatically banning boosting players and to this Simon responded saying it's not automatic at all. Why are you assuming this? Jai Barman does not mention anything about automatic bans, and for your info, none of the false ban claims are false so far. None. I'm annoyed at this whole narrative of screaming false bans when we ban known players. They were all linked to boosting. All of them. Whether they were compromised, sharing account or not, they are linked with actual technical data proof. He later said we have a thread coming up, waiting for key people to come to work. We do waves all the time. No one predicted this narrative and confusion. We ban 50,000 plus a week. This was like a wave of 5,000 out of millions and millions of players. And to this, Ali MC, the ex-staff member responded, great, I'm sure that will clear it up a lot. Could have benefited a lot more if it came out yesterday when the ban wave happened, but better late than never. And Simon responded, we did a wave and barely got any posts and then went to sleep and post happened. We are talking about maybe 20 to 25 people on the forums actively bumping threads out of millions and millions of players. Me three plus hours ago about the situation, you could be dang sure we will be preparing a post for the next waves because I'm not slowing down on cleaning up the server from cheaters. Showing a screenshot of him saying we should have had a post in the first place. And ladies and gentlemen, not long after that, Chilin made a forum post titled regarding recent boosting related bans, May 2020 where she says, hello everyone. I'm sure you've seen the flood of threads relating to boosting bans and claims of false bans. Let's talk about it and clear things up. 
We regularly do band waves and usually they go unnoticed and are part of running the day-to-day -day moderation. If we could have predicted the reaction from this wave, we would have made a post to explain what's happening to avoid confusion and false information from spreading. This last week, the team has been investigating various cases of boosting in both Skyblock and Skywars. And to begin, please know that these were not automatic bans and were all investigated. A note before we begin, the ban message may have confused users. Players banned during the last week were Skyblock related and players banned over this weekend were Skywars related. Since then, we have renamed these Skyblock bans to say Skyblock and the message to differentiate between the two. The goal of these waves was to ban the most obvious cases and all the cases were investigated by the team. To follow with that, the team used many different methods to ensure accuracy, both for Skyblock and Skywars, to confirm our suspicions. Only a small amount of boosters got caught in that first wave We wanted to play safe and have no doubts. Such methods being things like cross-referencing linked accounts, searching players' history, stat comparisons, replays, and much more complex methods. In any case that the team had doubts in, the players involved were not banned. Again, any cases that had doubts were not banned. If you truly believe you are false banned, you may have been compromised, shared an account with someone, or played on someone else's account that has broken the rules in the past few weeks. Please remember that account sharing will get you banned on all accounts if one is caught breaking the rules. Stat-wise, this is how the ban waves work. 1.9k were banned for Skywars related boosting, and 4.2k were banned for Skyblock related boosting. In comparison, we ban approximately 50,000 players a week with no issues. The team is confident we got rid of some of the worst cases of boosting in these waves, but understand that many of these are longtime players who are confused. If you feel this does not apply to you at all, then please do appeal. We will take a second look and readjust if needs be. It is important that we apply the rules strongly, but we will also make adjustments if we think we went too far. Once again, the admin team has investigated almost all of the claims of false bans on the forums and Twitter for the past few hours after seeing the reaction and cannot confirm that they could not find a single false ban. They were involved almost all directly or linked with someone breaking the rules, knowingly or not in some cases. However, rest assured we are still investigating. We will go as far as rerunning new methods on all these bands to triple check every single ban. In the coming days, we are going to level up our ways to educate players on account security, rules, and terms of services for the server to make sure players understand what is allowed and not allowed and what the risks are associated. We understand that some of you are frustrated and confused. We appreciate your patience and we'll be working on this all week to make sure you are all treated fairly. And to this, Simon responded saying, please read the full post it is important that all of you understand before commenting. We take the situation very seriously, and we'll be working all week to investigate every single ban again for the 10th time and review all appeals for a second time and third time if needs be. We have yet to find false bans, but I do believe that some of you were simply not educated about some rules and got caught in the process. I want to make sure you are all treated fairly but still apply to the rules, so we need to find a balance and work with our players to come to an understanding. All form threads related to boosting and false bans will be locked and redirected here by our staff team so that we can centralize the conversation and investigate properly. You know, I would rather go through pages here than 10 plus subforms and clear the form for actual server slash game discussions. By the way, this wave banned some longtime abusers that the community has been reporting to us. Thanks to all of you for reporting and helping. And after this, he made an update at 4 a.m. saying, Hey everyone, a quick update before I head to sleep as it's currently past 4 a.m. Happy to report that with your appeals and posts information, we have found the issue for the Skywars boosters bans and we will be fixing it in the coming days. In the meantime, instead of going backwards and preventing players from joining, we are unbanning a large number of players and we will re-run the ban wave with a new code in a few days when it's completed. Please note that we still have kept a few players banned that were confirmed. The good news is that we managed to catch a lot of boosters in the process, but even 20 to 30 false bans are unacceptable. I want to make sure that we have absolutely zero false bans, so we are going to change one of the methods so they don't get caught on the next wave. This only concerns the Skywars bans. None of the Skyblock except one out of the 4200 was reverted, which I think we shouldn't have, but I was 99% sure, not 100%, and we are now coding new methods to investigate him further to confirm. I'll come back tomorrow and work at it further. This will not delay any other updates or anything else on the network. I will simply work longer hours. I mean, you guys should be able to tell from these four posts, Hypixel and the network really does care about the false bans. I know there's always a lot of talk about people saying they got false banned and whatnot, but... 
I mean, you guys should be able to tell here, Hypixel really does care. Now, you guys, I had the opportunity to speak to one of the owners of the offensive guild known as Ha. And ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot of really informative news. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy. All right, so we've got Ha here, the owner of the OFN guild, or at least one of them. So one of the questions I have is how many people that got banned were actually legitimate? Like... Did they all hack? Were they all boosting? What's What happened? So initially, when the ban wave hit with the 6,000 people being banned, about 30 people from OFN were banned. Currently, we have about six or seven people that are still banned in the offensive guild. And out of those six or seven people, I would say three or four of them deserve to be banned. Oh, so there's two on the loose that are hackers, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, hi Pixel, you got some work to do. Now, one of the people that got banned was actually Sword. Was he hacking or was he legit? Because he's number two on the overall high Pixel leaderboards, and he's actually unbanned now, I believe. Yeah, so Sword was unbanned. He has never cheated, he has never boosted. He barely even plays the game. He simply just wanted to be on level leaderboards. And he's just been a friend of ours for years, so he's obviously inoffensive. 30 of you got banned, but six were not legit. So how did the other 24 get banned? People, uh, a lot of OFN management have access to each other's accounts, and that doesn't have to do with anything boosting related. It's simply just maybe one of us will go on vacation and want our daily reward to be kept up, right? Mm -hmm. So I would log into someone's account, and then if I was banned, in this wave specifically, they banned for IP links. So anyone that I had logged into their account would be banned in, as a result. And so that's what happened. So many of the people that were seen as cheaters or seen as boosters actually weren't boosters. And thankfully they were unbanned. Most false bans happened due to IP links. So when people think about this ban wave that just happened on Hypixel, they think of like, uh, obviously the 5,000, 6,000 people that got banned. And along with that is also your guild. So was this like targeted attack on your guild or did you just get caught in the wave? Uh, we don't believe that this was a targeted attack. We think that more, um, it was just a mass wave of many people that were some deserving of bans, some not, as I said before. And the main focus was OFN because many people have seen uh, OFN members boost in the past. And so they used this as a example, I suppose, to just uh, hate on the guild. And in the end, most people figured out that it was not an OFN ban wave. It was, like you just said, 6,000 plus people being banned. But OFN was just caught in that, and therefore many people assumed it was a targeted attack. So lastly on this, people associated your bans with Skywars leaderboard players. How many people were actually on the Skywars leaderboards that got banned? At the time, there was one person from OFN that was on the ranked leaderboard and that was Pito, and he is currently banned. Regarding the level leaderboards, Lifelong is on there still, and he did not receive a ban. Did he receive a ban at the very beginning, or are you saying he's just, he was never involved? He was never involved. So you guys, he also said that they got on these Skywars leaderboards in the last Skywars tournament, and it was hacking like, uh, it was bad news. And you guys, I saved easily the best story for last. This week, Simon tweeted out, I'm now 32. Where do I get my boomer certificate and access new life features? Well, you know, I normally don't cover birthdays here on the news, but I had to make an exception. Happy birthday, Simon. Hope you had a fantastic day. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for the news this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. Of course, once again, if you're new here and you want to stay up to date on everything happening in the Hypixel network, then you want to subscribe to the channel with those notifications on. I'll be your host, keeping you informed on what's going on. Of course, if you have any news to submit, my Twitter and Discord are in the description as always. We're almost at 16,000 Twitter followers. Thank you so, so much. Guys, have a blessed day. And with this, Hypixel Alert, now over 82.6 thousand subscribers. And I will see you next time.